tight turns. No, no. And I knew that was coming. Okay, grand tour of the house. I'll give you a tour of the neighborhood. And this is Sue's house right here with the big mop moon tree, mango tree up front. Sue's dad grows a lot of a lot of stuff. He's trying to propagate some orchids. <laughs> I thought that was a pile of shit up there. I don't know. I think he's got chili peppers. They're not looking very good right now. Not enough sunlight here. We need more room. In Thailand, the ground moves around a lot. These houses are about 30 years old here. They look a lot older than that. It's all concrete, ceramic tile roof, and sheet metal as well, or corrugated metal for the roof. And the welding here sucks, but this is a front gate. I love that tree. When it's in season, the mangoes there are the sizes of your head. There's underneath here. Got some even our fiberglass repair jobs. They just hang wires through and hook it to this. These little metal bars they got. It's like four by two. There's a water pump for the house. You got um, the plastic tubing I was talking about, and it's called surge tank, basically for drought season if that ever happens here. Mosquitoes are a problem here. It's Sue's brother. <laughs> they have these in every room, almost every house has at least one or two of these. It's a air conditioning unit, but they don't like to use centralized heating or cooling here. They use it for the, each room. And, uh, the one out of two bathrooms. It's, they call it a wet room. There's shit right there. You can see the shit casket in their medication. The bathroom is a wet room, which means that it all drains down and the whole room can be washed out. And I kind of like it. And this is a kitchen. So as you can see, if you look from the kitchen, kitchen, living room, there's no walls or partitions. And a lot of Thai houses are even more open than this. This one has a bathroom, so it's kind of closed off here. There's some bananas I cut there, an old fridge. Oh, sorry, this is a dining room, not the kitchen. This is a uh, new fridge they got. It makes has an ice maker. And yeah, this is the kitchen. Oh, peppers and seasoning things. This is pretty standard Thai kitchen. They use propane. Everyone uses propane. Lots of propane usage here. But it's cheap. Very cheap. And uh, they have a grill like this. That's pretty straightforward. Efficient, they love to deep fry food. Staple of any Thai meals, rice, cow, and um, 
something deep fried fish, chicken, or something. I like this rack. It's useful. This kitchen needs more ventilation. It's got one vent, but it's not nearly enough. This is the outside roof. It slopes down. It's actually a metal roof over this. It gets really loud in the rain. You'll see when I go upstairs. Yeah, the house stays pretty cool because it's all concrete and there's not a lot of light entering the house. As you can see, it's quite dark. It keeps it nice and cool, but you can't see shit. Uh, the stairs. Half finished paint. <laughs> you hear that? That noise is never ending. There's always pigeons fucking outside. Okay, so show you the bathroom upstairs first. It's the one we use most, more or less. It's a water heater. It can be turned on and off with the breaker switch here. Don't need it. Um, the sink doesn't work. Toilet. It works a little different here. And here's the ass squirter I was talking about. So you can get yourself for your bum bum nice and clean out there. So yeah, all of it drains down and the whole thing's a wet room, which just, hence the squeegee. There's, this is outside the side of the house. I was looking up. The house is quite tall. We'll do Sue's brother and dad's room first. So, trying to keep it closed for some reason. Sue's dad's shrine's quite intense. Every day he replaces the tea, and he puts new tea there every day. People are very religious here. They love Buddhism and believe in a lot of merit. And feng shui is also a thing that goes on around here. This is a view from the balcony. Everyone's got one. All the houses in this villa are almost identical, except for the ones over on the, uh, I think it's north of us. They are a bit bigger, they're the higher end ones, I believe. So this is the roof I was talking about, or rather the front porch area whatever you want to call it. It's all sh corrugated metal. Very cheap materials. You can see up there, tile, ceramic tile. Here's the Mapmun tree. Some of the roofs are a little different. Yeah, so this is the balcony. This house looks a lot older than it is. <laughs> I kind of like it though. As you can see here in the bathroom actually, my head just hits it if I don't duck down. And this is a common staple of Thai engineering is uh, hitting your head everywhere for a phalang like me. And I'm not even tall. So imagine if you're a tall phalang, you'd be hitting your head in many places. Oh, this is our room. Excuse the mess. Woke up late, um, which here is about 7.30 in the morning. Slept in. This is the top of the kitchen outside as I was talking about there's a vent thing I don't know if you can see that weird thing this is the that was the roof of the kitchen outside there's storage motorcycle gear extra bed quite simple really I'm sure you guys wanted Sue to do this but she's preoccupied down the street is this little uh, forest going on here. I'm going to record for you guys. Loy. I think I said that. It's really easy to say. Gloy. <laughs> Bananas are a dangerous word in Thailand. So it's community things, but some people kind of access these more than others. It keeps going in there. You can see there's a lot, actually. They get a lot of bananas. There's bananas growing. Right, yeah. These are cool. The juice inside is really sticky. I got some in my eye and it hurt for like an hour. This is a fucking problem about Thailand though. <sighs> they love, love single use plastic and they use it for just about everything. The worst part is these fucking kids. Just throw it anywhere and everywhere they can think of. I clean this shit up almost daily and there's just as much of it when I come back the next day in the morning. So I blame soccer. Soccer kids are the fucking worst. And the garbage collection system here is fucked. They have different bins but they all end up in the same unmanaged landfills. So there's no real incentive to recycle or anything. You can't. 
depending on where you live, you may not be able to. So Thailand, as well as a couple other Southeast Asian countries, produce 60% of all the plastic waste in the oceans. An average Thai person uses 150 liters of polluted wastewater daily. And the waste water management facilities are only open partially for some of the year and other times not at all. Say hi, kitty. <laughs> Fat cat. Casca, un. Un.